Hey, what's up, users? This is John at Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to showcase the new update to the animator widget. I've added a delay effect, so now when you add an effect to an element on your Adobe, Adobe Muse website, uh, you can have it animate a little bit later um, before the the animation kicks in. So you can say like two seconds, and then the animation can play after two seconds. And this works really well with the SVG draw widget because you can have uh, an SVG draw and then you can tell the animator widget, let's say to, to fade in the animation two or three seconds later so that the SVG draws first and then the animation comes in and it has a very fluid kind of motion with, with the SVG draw. Uh, before it wasn't maybe as smooth because you'd have to uh, fade out the SVG draw and then have the animation come in or, or put a long duration to the fade in or or a long duration to the animation so that the the fade in would be slow or the animation would be slow uh, while the SVG is drawing but now you can say I want the animation to start after you know one or two seconds or you know three seconds after the SVG draws so this is just one example of how you can use the new delay option in the animator widget so I have an example set here, and if I go to File, Preview Page, and Browser, we see that the SVG draws and then the animation fades in. So in this video tutorial, we're going to recreate this animation. We're going to outline the SVG, and then we're going to have it fade in after a certain amount of time with the new delay option that I've added to the animator widget. So let's begin. <music> So the first thing I'm going to do is find the image. Um, I've downloaded an image from Dollar Photo Club, um, which I believe now is Adobe Stock. So I'm going to open this with Adobe Illustrator. So I'll right click, open with Adobe Illustrator, and then I'm going to use the store monogram here. So I'll just delete this background and delete that. Then I'll select this entire monogram. I'll hit Command C to copy. Then I'll go to File New. And I want the, the width and height to be 500 by 500. And so I've entered it here in the width and height. So I'll click OK. And then I'll hit Command V to paste. And I'll set the, uh, the width and height to 480 by 480. It's a little bit less than 500 by 500. Uh, that way none of the edges get trimmed off. So there I have the initial image. Um, and I'm going to group this. Oh, it's already grouped. And I'm just going to make sure that it's in the center of the artboard by selecting these line uh, horizontal align center and the vertical align center. And you also want to make sure that you align to artboard so that it aligns the entire image to the artboard. Okay, so now I'm going to go to File, Save for Web, and I want transparency on, and I'll click Save. And then I have my example folder here, so I'll just say Muse for you image dash one. And now what I want to do is outline this image. So we outline it first and then we save it as an SVG. So to do that, I'm just going to select the entire image. And here where it says stroke, I'm going to set the stroke weight. Uh, initially, it says sets the stroke weight to 1, uh, but I'm going to set it to 0.75. I find that a little bit thinner looks looks nicer when it, when it draws. But that just kind of depends on the image that you're using. Uh, so now I want to set the stroke color. So I'll, I'll select the... Uh, the border here, and then I'll select the eyedropper tool, and I'm going to sample this uh, kind of lighter uh, brownish color here, kind of beige. And we can see here that it turned the entire image to that color, and it's actually not grouped. So let me hit Command A to group it. Yeah, there we go. So now it's grouped. So let me undo a little bit. I'm actually going to just do that over real quick. 80 and I'm gonna right click and group yeah, I want to make sure it's grouped so that all the elements stay in the correct position okay and then I'll save it again file save for web save and I'll just overwrite this image here okay so again I'm gonna select the image stroke will set it to one and then for the color I, I'll go down here to the stroke color I'll select the eyedropper tool and I'll select kind of this, let me just deselect everything. Yeah, I'll select the eyedropper tool and I'll select this beige color. Okay, so it hasn't done anything. Uh, we still see the black stroke, but if we click on this kind of swap fill and stroke button here, uh, it'll swap the fill 
with the stroke so that the stroke is that beige color. So if I click on it, or I have to uh, select the image first. So yeah, so the image actually has to be selected. And then I'll select the, yeah, so we can see here that the entire image got filled with beige, beige, excuse me. And then I'll select the swap, fill and stroke here. And now the stroke has that color and the fill is kind of black. We don't need to worry about the fill color because we just want the stroke uh, color. So I'll go here to the upper left where the fill color is and I'll say none. This is the fill color up here and I'll say none. So now we have a nice beige stroke to the image and um, the point, it's at point 0.1. So again, I'm gonna set it to 0.75. Uh, so it's a little bit thinner and it looks a little bit nicer. So there's our F SVG. So now I'll go to File, Save As, and down here where it says Format, I'll say SVG, and then I'll just save it as Muse for You Image Dash One uh, SVG. Then I'll click uh, Save, and then I'll click OK. Uh, you can check out these options here um, if you want to see the options that I use here, and then I'll click OK, and uh, pretty much any options work but there's a few options that uh, you can change when you're saving the SVG. So I'll go back to my Adobe Muse website. Um, I actually have a blank site here, the right here on my home page. And for the browser fill, I'm gonna set it to black. And then I'm gonna go to that folder where I save those images, right here in the example folder. And the first thing I wanna do actually is uh, add the SVG draw widget. So I'm gonna go to my library panel and I'm gonna scroll down to the SVG draw widget 1.1. So I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. Then here it says choose an SVG. So I'll click add file and then I'll go to my example folder and we have the SVG here. And perfect. And then I'll make this uh, this SVG container uh, 500 by 500. All right, perfect. And I'll just center that in the website. And if I preview this in the browser, so I'll go to file preview page and browser, we can see that the SVG draws and it looks nice. So now I'm going to add the PNG. So I'll go to the PNG image. So I'll click hold and drag and place onto my Adobe Muse website. There it is. Now I want to bring in the animator widget. So I have the animator widget 1.1 and I'll bring in the initial widget because it's the first uh, animation. And here we go, here we have it. And here we can see that it says animation delay, which is the new option that I've added. So let's say we want the SVG to draw first. And then after two seconds, we want the, the image to fade in. So for animation delay, I'll say 2000 because uh, 1000 milliseconds equals one second because the time here is in milliseconds. So I'll enter in 2000 and I'll hit enter. And then for the select animation, I wanna say uh, fade in. And then here we see the graphic style name is Animate 1. You can change this, but Animate 1 works really well uh, because you just have to assign this, this same graphic style name to the image that you want to animate. So I'll click on the image. Um, I have it selected here. And then I'll go to my graphic styles panel. Uh, if you don't see your graphic styles panel, you can just go to Window and click on Graphic Styles. The same with the library panel. Uh, if you don't see the library panel, you can just go to Window and click on Library. So I have my graphic styles panel here. So to create a new graphic style, uh, you simply click on this icon that looks like a piece of paper. So I'll click on it and I'll double click here on the style name, so I'll double click. And then here where it says style name, I'll just name it animate one. So now we've assigned the animate one uh, widget here, the animator widget with the graphic style animate one to the PNG image. So they have the same graphic style names. Okay, so we're gonna have it fade in uh, there's going to be a delay of two seconds and the duration is going to be one second. So let's see how that looks like in the browser or what that looks like in the browser. So I'll go to file, preview page and browser. So it draws and then it fades in. So it looks like it's just uh, fading in with the drawing, which is a really nice effect. And we could even make it fade in a little bit slower. So for the duration, we could say 2000 and I'll go to file, preview page and browser and there's kind of a slower fade in. Um, and because the PNG and the SVG are right on top of each other, you don't really notice that there's any lines. Uh, if you did have borders, and let's say you wanted it to be 
those borders make the image look a little bit thicker, um, you can fade out the SVG. You could easily um, add an animator uh, to the SVG. So I'll, I'll actually do that real quick. So I'll go to my library panel and I'll add the animator additional. I'll just place it in there because the second animation re requires the additional, um, yeah, the animator additional. And I'll just have it uh, fade, fade out. You could even fade out with the SVG uh, widget, but because we can add a delay now, um, I'm using the animator. So let's say we want to have the SVG fade out after three seconds, and then we want it to fade out smoothly. So we'll say two, th uh, two seconds for the animation duration. So now we're just gonna move the PNG image and I'll select the SVG draw widget back here. I'll go to my graphic styles panel. I'll create a new graphic style by, by clicking on this icon uh, that looks like a piece of paper. And then here for the style name, I'll double click and I'll call this animate to because the additional, the animator additional has the graphic style name animate to. Okay, so we've assigned uh, that graphic style to the SVG draw widget. So now let's see how that looks like in the browser. So I'll go to file, preview page in browser. So it draws, fades in, and then the SVG draw fades out smoothly. Uh, so the lines are a little bit thinner because having kind of the SVG draw lines behind or on top of the PNG, or in this case it's behind, uh, but either way, um, if you have it on, you know, behind or in front, um, it adds a little bit of thickness uh, to the to the image. So by fading out the SVG draw, uh, you get end up with a very clean image that fades in after the SVG draws. So that's it for this video tutorial on the new option that I've added to the animator widget. It's now the animator 1.1. And to access this widget, you can simply go to museforyoushop.com and you can click on the pop up here. And here you can click to subscribe to get access to all widgets or any new widgets I come out with for only 39 a year. Or if you'd like to use PayPal, you can click here to use PayPal. You can also purchase the widget individually. Uh, so I have it here, the animator 139 animation effects. So if I click on it, you can click add to cart to purchase individually. Or again, you can get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for 39 a year. So that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome, awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.